I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to our channel, Agla Sim Schools. Today, in this video, I will be covering Chapter 14 of Class 8 of Science, that is, Chemical Effects of Electric Current. So here, let's discuss question and answers. Question number one says, fill in the blanks. Part one says, most liquids that conduct electricity are solutions of dash, dash, and dash. So the answer is acids, bases, and salts. Further, second part is the passage of an electric current through a solution causes dash effects. Answer is chemical effects. Third, if you pass current through copper sulfate solution, copper gets deposited on the plate connected to a dash terminal of the battery. Answer is negative terminal. Fourth, the process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called dash. Answer is electroplating. Further, question number two says, when the free ends of a tester are dipped into solution, the magnetic needle shows deflection. Can you explain the reason? So the answer is, the deflection in the magnetic needle shows that the circuit is complete and the solution conducts electricity that is it is a good conductor. Further, question number 3 says name 3 liquids which when tested in the manner may cause the magnetic needle to deflect. So the answer is vinegar, lemon juice and tap water. Further, question number 4 says the bulb does not glow in the setup shown in the figure. List the possible reasons and explain your answer. So the answer is, the bulb may not glow because of the following reasons. 1. The wires in the circuit may be loosely connected. 2. The bulb may be fused. 3. The cells may be used up. 4. The liquid may be insulator, that is, a poor conductor of electricity. Further moving to a question number 5 which says, a tester is used to check the conduction of electricity through two liquids labeled A and B. It is found that the bulb of a tester glows brightly for liquid A while it glows very dimly for liquid B. What would conclude that? Part 1. Liquid A is a better conductor than liquid B. 2. Liquid B is a better conductor than liquid A. 3. Both liquids are equally conducting. 4. Conducting properties of liquid cannot be compared in this manner. So the answer is 1. That is, liquid A is better conductor than liquid B. Further, question number 6 says, Does pure water conduct electricity? If not, what can we do to make it conduct? So the answer is no. Pure water cannot conduct electricity. But when salt is dissolved in pure water, it conducts electricity. Further, question number 7 says, In case of fire, before the fireman uses the water hoses, they shut off the main electrical supply for the area. Explain why they do this. So the answer is, the water used in the water hoses is not pure water and is a good conductor of electricity. So the fireman shuts off the electric supply before spraying water to save themselves and other people from electrocution. Further, question number 8 says, A child staying in a coastal region tests the drinking water and also the sea water with his tester. He finds that the campus needle deflects more in the case of sea water. Can you explain the reason? So the answer is, the sea water contains a huge amount of salts in comparison to drinking water. Hence, the sea water is a better conductor of electricity and is produced a stronger magnetic field in the wire and hence deflects the campus needle more. Further, question number 9 says, Is it safe for an electrician to carry out electrical repair outdoors during heavy downpour? Explain. So the answer is no. It is highly dangerous to carry out the electrical repairs outdoor during the heavy downpour. It can cause electrocution as water is a good conductor of electricity. Further, question number 10 says, Paheli had heard that rainwater is as good as distilled water. So, she collected some rainwater in a clean glass tumbler and tested it using a tester. To her surprise, she found that the compass needle showed deflection. What could be the reason? So the answer is, rainwater is a pure water 
which is an insulator but it gets mixed with air pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides and forms an acidic solution which is a good conductor of electricity so the compass needle shows deflection further question number 11 says prepare a list of objects around you that are electroplated so the answer is objects that are electroplated are door handle tapes rims of cycle showers the handlebar of cycle and bikes gas burner tin cans metallic almirahs buckles of belts etc for the question number 12 says the process you saw in an activity is used as purification of copper a thin plate of pure copper and a thick rod of impure copper are used as electrodes copper from impure rods is sought to be transferred to the thin copper plate which electrode should be attached to the positive terminal of the battery and why so the answer is the thick rod of impure copper plate is to be attached to the positive terminal of the battery because when electric current is passed through the copper sulfate solution it gets dissociated into copper and sulfate the free copper being positive charge gets drawn to the negative terminal of the battery and gets deposited in it on the other hand the loss of copper from the solution is regained from the impure copper rod which is attached to the positive terminal of the battery so guys i've covered all the question of this chapter in this video i hope you like this video and if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question discussed please put your query in the comment section below for more such ncert solutions keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel aglsm schools and do not forget to wear mask and take good care of your health uh, uh, uh.